<clears throat> hey guys. Now today we're uh, in a different place. We're actually in my office because we're looking at a book today. And actually, uh, this is a book that um, I'm giving away as a present to my son today. It's his birthday. So I bought him a copy, but then I actually bought um, copies for everyone in my family because this is something we've all wanted for a while. This is the official I'm writing a book notebook. Um, and the reason I got this for my son is he's wanted to write a book for several years. His younger sister wrote and published her first book when she was 10 years old. She had a great experience writing a book, and but it was a lot of work, and we learned a lot through the process of going through that on things we could do to make it easier. And so I actually developed this notebook for my kids. So this is my creation. <laughs> um, and the reason I did it is so that they'd have a tangible copy of something that they could carry around to take their notes in, but also so that it would break things up. So it's just a simple journal or a notebook. You'll notice that the front is empty and the spine is empty. That's so that if you want to, you can actually draw in the ideas for your book. Now, once you get into the book, you write your name in the front, and then um, you've got different spaces just like you would in a normal book. So at the beginning you have acknowledgments, and in the acknowledgments, this is where you write the people you want to acknowledge. So if you're writing a nonfiction book, typically there's an acknowledgment section. In fiction, not so much. But then you've got book title ideas, and you've got a space or a couple pages for book title ideas. Story ideas, this is where you put your story or arcs and your character development. Then you get to chapter one, and you just all your ideas for chapter one go in chapter one. So this way you start framing out your whole book, and you can go through the whole thing. Now there's 10 pages for each of 10 chapters. So you've got 100 pages uh, to write um, notes for your book. And then at the back, after chapter 10, then you've got book cover ideas. So you can sketch out ideas for your book cover. You've got the back cover blurb or the Amazon description. That's where you put your marketing stuff for your book. The last thing is gonna be your about the author at the back where you write kind of about the author. Now, this is just a simple notebook, um, but it will help you organize your thoughts and your ideas so that hopefully writing the book will be a little bit easier. I actually got this, I haven't ever, I've written a bunch of nonfiction books, but I've never written fiction. And so I designed this with myself in mind. I thought, what would make it easier for me to get all my ideas down in something that's easy to carry around, that's not overwhelming. Obviously, I plan on my book is gonna be actually much bigger than this book when all is said and done, but this is just for the first draft. This is to get your ideas down. Once you've filled this out, then you type it onto your computer and you start at the editing process and expanding and putting your extra ideas. And so um, this is something that as a fifth grade teacher, I wish every single one of my students had one of these books. And so now I've designed it so I can give it to them. Um, if you are a teacher and you want to get one, a set for your whole class, I made the price affordable so that um, you could use your teacher money to do that. But this is something where I recommend if you buy this book, don't buy one, buy five, because you're gonna find that lots of people are interested in writing books and this makes it an easy gift to give to someone. I made it very, very cheap so that you can get multiple copies. And I think that it's gonna be a really useful tool. So thanks, bye-bye.